Okay, now let's look at this third question together. And what's the total length L2 when the load is released? So here I want you to get a sense of the keyword. If you see um, the load is released or removed, that's a keyword that will test you if you know how to find out the elastic recovery after plastic deformation. All right. Remember the five steps approach I told you? The first step is to determine if the deformation under the load is plastic or elastic. And in this case, since sigma equals 400 megapascal, it's larger than the yielding strength. I think here is around 300. That's why we have plastic deformation all right if we have plastic deformation we need to jump to step two step two is to find um, the point x which corresponding to the applied stress and in this case the point x on the diagram is here All right, third step is to draw a line that passes through this point X and at the same time, the line should parallel to the linear segment of the stress string curve. All right, now I will use the red color to draw a line, pass through point X. Okay, if you see this red line, the red line is parallel to the blue line here and that's a parallel line we have and that's step three all right step four we need to find the interception point Y um, of the line with the horizontal axis. In this case, here is our point Y, the interception here. So read out what is the value at point Y. Y, at point Y we have epsilon, which is a string, equals point zero one. All right, this string would tells you what is the plastic uh, string re remained inside of this um, copper-based alloy after you release the load, if that makes sense to you. So this is the plastic, S-T-R-A-I-N. All right, and step five is to read out the string at point Y and use this plastic string um, to calculate whatever the um, information you need for this problem. Here we try to find out what's the total length, L2. So we know L2 should be the sum of the original length plus some delta L left inside of this alloy. And this delta L it's related to this string we just found out from step four, right? Now we, the, the goal is to find out what is delta L here. Delta L can be found by using the original length times the string here. 300 times 0 0.01. That will give you about three millimeter. Therefore, L2 equals L0 plus delta L equals 303 millimeter. And this will be the answer for the, um, the total new length of this copper-based alloy after the stress is released. And if you compare this, um, L2 with L0, we have three millimeter of diff plastic deformation, or you can call it permanent deformation 
remain in this specimen. Um, if you compare this L2 with L1, we, produce, we found this from question number two. And under this 400 megapascal load, we have a large, much larger deformation, 312 millimeter, right? But part of this deformation, 12 millimeters, and some of those 12 millimeters are from elastic deformation. And there's only three millimeters, here we find out from this step five here, instead of this 12 millimeter, it's from plastic deformation. Okay, hopefully this will give you an overall example how to solve um, a problem